you will hear three different extracts. For questions one to six, choose the answer A, B, or C, which fits best according to what you hear. There are two questions for each extract. Extract one. Strolling along a deserted beach, I saw a bottle dusted with sand and found a message curled inside. An exciting moment. But messages and bottles are not new here. The earliest dates back to 1860, when ships used them to keep those on land informed of their progress. None too reliable when your ship is sinking. But the local museum is launching a project using bottle messages not just to promote the whereabouts of the islands and attract tourism. Islanders are being invited to include maps and information about the islands themselves. Bottles have been collected from local beaches and are, though not in the traditional sense, being recycled. Primarily, and more ambitiously, the project is set to identify tidal movements, not by science or satellite systems, but by hurling these bottles back into the sea. The hope is that people will reply to these messages through the more traditional postal system. Islanders will gain pen pals and new visitors, and the final whereabouts of the bottles will enable scientists to track their paths, and all this from bottles discarded on a beach. Strolling along a deserted beach, I saw a bottle dusted with sand and found a message curled inside. An exciting moment. But messages and bottles are not new here. The earliest dates back to 1860, when ships used them to keep those on land informed of their progress. None too reliable when your ship is sinking. But the local museum is launching a project using bottle messages not just to promote the whereabouts of the islands and attract tourism. Islanders are being invited to include maps and information about the islands themselves. Bottles have been collected from local beaches and are, though not in the traditional sense, being recycled. Primarily, and more ambitiously, the project is set to identify tidal movements, not by science or satellite systems, but by hurling these bottles back into the sea. The hope is that people will reply to these messages through the more traditional postal system. Islanders will gain pen pals and new visitors, and the final whereabouts of the bottles will enable scientists to track their paths, and all this from bottles discarded on a beach. Extract 2 Last year, Tim Fitzgerald exhibited photographs of his family, but in the current exhibition, which he shares with two other visual artists, he focuses solely on landscapes. What's your impression of them? I'm not sure he has what it takes to move beyond his family. Last year's images of his nearest and dearest were very moving, weren't they? There was a wonderful close-up of his sister's face, almost like an abstract. But these landscapes, they're not impressive or particularly articulate. I know he invokes the influence of several famous painters. You didn't find any of that in his landscapes? No. I think he has produced a couple of strong images, but there's no sign of them in the current show, and I'm at a loss to know why. It's a very random choice. And also, four small photos in a large gallery feel very sparse. You can see it was an attempt to draw you in, but for me it backfired. You need more impact to raise the curtain on the exhibition. It's not as if it's the last room, it's the first. And you move on to other artists' work. Last year, Tim Fitzgerald exhibited photographs of his family, but in the current exhibition, which he shares with two other visual artists, he focuses solely on landscapes. What's your impression of them? I'm not sure he has what it takes to move beyond his family. Last year's images of his nearest and dearest were very moving, weren't they? There was a wonderful close-up of his sister's face, almost like an abstract. But these landscapes, they're not impressive or particularly articulate. I know he invokes the influence of several famous painters. You didn't find any of that in his landscapes. No, 
I think he has produced a couple of strong images, but there's no sign of them in the current show, and I'm at a loss to know why. It's a very random choice. And also, four small photos in a large gallery feel very sparse. You can see it was an attempt to draw you in, but for me it backfired. You need more impact to raise the curtain on the exhibition. It's not as if it's the last room, it's the first. And you move on to other artists' work. Extract 3 One of my own thoughts about this piece is the idea that you're letting yourself go, abandoning yourself. For me, that's certainly what happens to me. When you're really immersed in it, you're no longer self-conscious. You're absolutely the recipient of the sound. For me, it's not even as if it conjures up a specific event. At one point, I was playing it all the time, in supermarket queues, walking into work... <laughs> Having that sound in my ears gave me a, a world and a space that was very different. My family got pretty fed up. Certainly my husband winces at my corny tastes. <laughs> I don't know if corny's the right word, but a colleague once said to me she would have expected something less banal. I find that rather sad. Right, OK, so it's a piece that obviously works for many other people too, but... That doesn't mean to say it should be denigrated just because you don't have to have great sophistication in music to appreciate it. One of my own thoughts about this piece is the idea that you're letting yourself go, abandoning yourself. For me, that's certainly what happens to me. When you're really immersed in it, you're no longer self-conscious. You're absolutely the recipient of the sound. For me, it's not even as if it conjures up a specific event. At one point, I was playing it all the time, in supermarket queues, walking into work. <laughs> Having that sound in my ears gave me a, a world and a space that was very different. My family got pretty fed up. Certainly, my husband winces at my corny tastes. <laughs> I don't know if corny's the right word, but a colleague once said to me she would have expected something less banal. I find that rather sad. Right, OK, so it's a piece that obviously works for many other people too, but that doesn't mean to say it should be denigrated just because you don't have to have great sophistication in music to appreciate it. That is the end of part one.